Even though I'm not the greatest of golfers, hitting the ball at the new fairway gave me a true lie and even made me look like a pro. Laura tells me donating whole flood could save up to three lives, which is why I'm donating now. Well, Paige, as the fierce Beyonce would say, who run the world? Girls. And that's exactly what tonight is about. It's about honoring these amazing women for their hard work, tenacity, and yes, fierceness. Can I do a mannequin challenge video with them? <laughs> of course, if you, if you want to, go ahead. Black Beatles in the city, be back Reporting in Gainesville, Kelly Gonzalez, TV20 News. That girl is a once upon a time, there was a girl in Lake City who went on to be in box office movies and hit television shows. Turns out she's only 17. TV20's Kelly Gonzalez met up with the actress and singer for an exclusive look into her acting career and her future. Hi, I am sitting here with Carly Collins. You might know her from Once Upon a Time. She's an actress and a singer, and she welcomed me into her home in Lake City to get to know her. So, Carly, thank you for having me. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. It's nice to meet you, too. I would love to, you know, start from the beginning. So tell me a little bit about when did you start acting and singing? Um, I started acting first at the age of six. I was, um, whenever I was younger, I was in a theater group. And um, there was a lot of older kids there, and they were talking about going out to Los Angeles for pilot season, which is when there's a lot of auditions and stuff like that out there. And um, I talked to my parents about it, and they decided to let me go out there and give it a shot. So yeah. you actually went to your parents and kind of asked, can we go to Los Angeles? So this yeah. was kind of your idea? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely my idea. My parents, honestly, I don't know what I would do without them. She's my only child, so I haven't really known um, anything really different, but she's always carried herself like really even when she was younger just really really mature always knew exactly what she wanted to do what was your first I would say you know your big break what was your first role on a television show called the class I played a character called Oprah after the class um, I was in once upon a time also I was in a, a movie called when you find me that one was a lot of fun and then uh, pulse to the collector out of all the acting you know roles you have played what has been your favorite that's a hard question i i think honestly probably once upon a time even though i've enjoyed everything different aspects of all of it but once upon a time was a lot of fun getting to bring to life a fairy tale character that was really cool um she was very excited um about going to gretel and, and when we got there and we went to costuming um, they hand make everything. I mean, they literally start from scratch and make it all, and it's just so, like, it's just so authentic. And all the sets were incredible. Like, the candy house and stuff like that. Right. It wasn't on a green screen. They actually built it. Really? Was, yeah, really That's exciting, really, cool. really cool to see. Yeah. Could you eat it? Yeah, actually, you could. A lot of it was actually really edible. As a 17-year-old, you've accomplished so much already. So what could we expect to see you in next? At the moment, I'm in the process of recording some of my own music, which is really exciting for me being in the studio and, you know, figuring out all the little details of what I want it to be like. So you guys can be looking for that um, in the near future. Paging Grey's Anatomy fans, a UF College of Medicine surgical resident, joined the writing team for the current season of the show. TV Trace Kelly Gonzalez reports the doctor and writer says it was an opportunity of a lifetime, even if he was unfamiliar with the show. Meet Gainesville's very own Dr. McDreamy, Dr. David Hall. Hall is a fifth-year surgical resident at the University of Florida College of Medicine and a medical communications fellow for the 14th season of Grey's Anatomy. One of the program coordinators here reached out to me and said she got an email from Grey's Anatomy uh, looking for surgery residents that have the time to come out there for three to six months. And since I'm on my research time and I had a little more flexibility, um, she thought I would be the perfect fit. Hall says before joining the Grey's Anatomy writing team, he'd actually never seen the show before. So when I interviewed with them, they asked me, uh, you know, if you've never seen the show, why are you applying for this? And I said, well, that's not what really interests me about it. What interests me is um, using this as a way to teach the audience about medicine and make sure that the show gets it right. For this 14th season of Grey's Anatomy, there's 24 episodes. Dr. Hall helps write 10 of them. With a staff of about 10 writers, they have one of the largest writing staffs in the country. And in that room of 10 writers, there are three medical consultants, all of whom are physicians, um, that actually sit there with the writers when they're outlining and brainstorming about episodes and say, oh, you can't do that, or you could do that, but we should adjust it this way. For all of you Grey's Anatomy fans out there, what Dr. Hall is showing me might look very familiar to you in the season premiere. 
So what's kind of funny is all the people that have been medical consultants on this show, they kind of sneak them in there. Um, they wanted to put me in one of the scenes that I had helped develop. Hall says all of the cast members were really nice and he would love to work with them again in the future. As far as season 14 spoilers. I can't tell you too much. There, there are going to be a lot of surprises. I think the fans of this show are going to be very happy with a couple of things that happen and, and uh, not feel so great about a couple of things that happen. But there are some surprises coming this season. Make sure to grab your person for episode 3 of the 14th season airing tonight at 8 p.m. right here on TV20. Kelly Gonzalez, TV20 News. This is TV 20 News at 6. We have new details this evening on the shooting that killed a woman in Hawthorne. TV 20's Kelly Gonzalez is live in the studio. And Kelly, what's the latest? Thanks, guys. Well, Alachua County Sheriff's deputies are looking for a man who might know valuable information about the shooting in Hawthorne on Friday night. Well, the big question has been, what exactly happened to Hannah Zayner Brim? And today, that question has finally been answered. Thanks, Dave. After looking at dash cam video released today, this story is changing. Welcome back. Earlier in this newscast, we told you about a group of monkeys getting a new home thanks to a donation. Today, TV 20's Kelly Gonzalez learned the hard way why monkeys should not be kept as pets. Take a look. Thanks to the anonymous donor, more monkeys like my friend Udi here now have a forever home. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> Look, he's laughing. <laughs> he's laughing. He's laughing. Uh, that would be a pretty good reminder why <gasps> not being pets. Ouch.